Hello there, good morning, if you couldn't already tell, or a good whatever time of day this video happens to find you. My name is Ariana, if you did not already know, and if you do, well then, welcome back to my channel. I've got my water, I've got my coffee, I have got my face popsicle, and I'm just going to do my morning routine and just chit chat with you guys for a little bit. I am... A full-time student again and I am just so busy and so stressed and it's actually not even morning like I want to say it's like one o'clock <laughs> I woke up at 12 because I was up until like two o'clock in the morning last night studying I have a midterm and a final this next week so like starting Monday yeah and your girl is just stressing like just really going through it. I have just decided that I will stay up as late as I need to to study, but then I'm just gonna let myself sleep like as long as I need to. And that happens to be until 12 o'clock sometimes, and that's okay. Now I gotta get up, get ready for another day of studying super exciting this is a homemade thyme popsicle if you are not familiar with thyme it's an herb a lot of research shows that it's more antibacterial than benzoyl peroxide which is like a very common treatment they give for acne and if you don't already know i had like really really bad acne in 2020 and like 2021 i tried it all besides accutane like accutane like i really did not want to do and ultimately i ended up able to heal my skin i still have like some scarring and like hyperpigmentation but mostly i'm happy with where my skin is at comparative to comparatively to how it used to be so one of the things that i found that works wonders is time popsicles they're really great in the morning to just like boost hydration and like take down inflammation in the skin because you know like you wake up you're like kind of puffy sometimes but then also they are antibacterial so if you have acne or if you're just like worried about acne forming this is a great like little diy like home situation you can do every single morning to just like elevate your self-care I am a huge fan. Let me mix this because it's got like macchiato vibes going on and I want like iced latte vibes. I don't know how to mix this without a spoon, so I'm just gonna have to drink it and then like violently shake it. I'm getting a phone call. One second. My boyfriend is getting me raising canes. I love that man. I'm just gonna turn really quick so I can like see myself in the mirror while I'm getting ready makes sense right okay this like violently shaking method i thought oh no it's actually kind of like <laughs> there's like this layer here that won't mix okay Final success all right i'm gonna do my makeup with this egregiously large makeup bag that is just packed to the brim full of shit that i don't even use half the time i'm sure we all have you know this issue. <laughs> no, I'm the only one. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna start off with sunscreen. I am obsessed with mineral sunscreens. Like I do not use chemical sunscreens ever. Finding the perfect mineral sunscreen that has over 10%, you know, mineral filters, over 30 SPF, but also doesn't leave like a crazy white cast is like the ultimate the ultimate struggle. I found this one. I absolutely love it. It is a little bit pricey though. I will say it's like not the most attainable product, but it's lasted me a very long time. I don't go OD with it. I feel like one pump is more than enough for my face and my neck and my chest. Before that sunscreen like fully sets in and absorbs, I'm going to start with my like base. I've been using this Mob Cream Foundation for the past couple of days. I don't think it's out yet. It's color G30. I love this foundation, but it clings to like any dry patches, which is really annoying because I have super dry skin. However, I have found that if you have moisturizer or something on it, it blends so much better. I love this foundation. It's literally like a perfect match for my skin, which is super hard to find. It literally just looks like my skin, but better. I've decided I'm only gonna use clean makeup brands today. So I'm gonna go in with the milk makeup. 
hydro. Oh, that was like, it just, I could tell I haven't used this in a while because it just like frayed in random directions when I tried to um, spray it on my face. But yeah, basically I was saying I really like this foundation. It sits really beautifully on the skin. Literally the only, the only thing, the only, only thing is that it clings to the dryness but if you moisturize your face adequately and you learn how to apply it in a way that you know it agrees with your skin then you have yourself a great compact cream foundation and they also sell like these little tins here let me try to like pop it out yeah like once this is done you literally just pop it out and then you could put a new one in like how amazing is that they are a clean brand right because i said i'm only using clean products today they're like their packaging is sustainable it's all refillable it came in like a little cardboard i assume it's like recycled paper i can't attest to the accuracy of that but it just gave me recycled paper vibes no i really had a great time like talking with their team and like learning about their mission and I've just been like on a clean beauty vibe right now. I also grabbed a contour shade, which I'm not gonna contour today because like I said, we're just, you know, it's chill. You know, it's a chill day. We're just sitting at home. We're just studying nothing crazy. They also gave me a translucent powder. I don't know if this is out yet either, but if you can get your hands on it, it's amazing. It's talc free and it literally just absorbs right into the skin, which is like more than I can say for a lot of these powder brands like i tried to get you know what we're not even we're not even going to talk about other brands right now i'm, I'm not going to do it i'm not going to stoop to that level okay lightly setting underneath my eyes and around my nose because i feel like this is where i get like the most separation side note if any of you guys out there have like any hacks to prevent that separation that goes on underneath your eyes like the creasing like literally no matter how much setting i do underneath my eyes they'll always crease eventually so my like newest thing is I just put like a bunch of smoky eye underneath here so that if it does crease you can't tell genius right I know don't applaud me all at once so I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera because I don't have a clean beauty eyebrow product yet yet I'm open okay I'm open I love trying new stuff BRB I'm bra back brow back I'm Brack. I do not know what's going on with my eyebrows recently. I know they're supposed to be sisters, not twins, but like they're not even acting like cousins. I don't know what the beef is, but I'm really just like not a fan. I feel like I'll do my eyebrows and they look great. They look fine. And then I like take pictures of myself and they're just looking crazy. I really don't know what that's about. Anyway, I'm going in with the Merit Flush Balm in shade Cheeky. Honestly, I love like all of Merit's flush bomb colors. If I could have one of every single color, I think I would. They all look so good on the skin. Every single day, I have a dilemma of like, which flush bomb color am I gonna use today? I don't know, they're all so beautiful. Just blends super beautifully onto my skin. I love that. If you wanna build it up, you can. Obviously on my lids, it's like a lot more concentrated. They're perfect. They're absolutely perfect. Perfect, perfect. Like if you know <laughs> that TikTok sound, then you know. I'm just gonna blend this out with the rest of the powder that was on that brush. And do we wanna do bronzer today? No, I don't think we're gonna do bronzer today. I don't need to look tan. Then I'm gonna go in with the Exa Beauty Lash Amplifying Mascara. I went into the Credo store on 3rd Street down by the Beverly Center. And if you don't know, Credo is like this amazing, where it's just like makeup, skincare, hair care, perfumes, etc. But it's all clean beauty. Like I said, I'm on the clean beauty train right now and I'm just obsessed with using clean beauty products. This mascara is amazing. Literally one coat is all you need, but like on the days where I want like more dramatic mascara, I'll do two coats and it's <sighs> just chef's kiss. I love it so much. This is like barely even one coat. I haven't even finished the one coat and look at the difference. Like, do you see this? Do you, like, am I tripping? Like, is this not amazing mascara? This is one coat. One coat, people, okay? Not even re-dipping the mascara. I'm just gonna go in with the rest of the mascara that's on the wand already and do my other eye. I'm not going to a fashion show or anything. Isn't it fashion week in LA? I could have sworn it is. 
I got invited to some like fashion week event, but like I said, I am a full-time student and I am up until two o'clock in the morning studying and I am a responsible adult, okay? You know, nothing good happens after dark. Like that's just like my motto. Like I don't need to be outside at night. I don't know, maybe I'm just paranoid. <laughs> Mind you, my dad raised me on Law & Order SVU. Like when I was a child, he was like, you need to be aware of what happens in the world. And it just made me super anxious, but also made me super aware and made me not make stupid decisions. I don't know. Good parenting, traumatizing, who knows? <laughs> Who fucking knows, honestly. But, um, yeah. Okay, <laughs> moving on. All right, what next? What next? Where's my lip liner? Lip liner, lip liner. Where art thou, lip liner? Okay, like, one of the downfalls of having this, like, ginormous bag is that I can never find what I'm looking for. It's always just, like, super down in the gutters of this bag. Oh, found it. This is, I don't know how to pronounce this, Kajir Weiss. Can you see that? This is shade Bear. I also got this at Credo Beauty. Amazing lip liner. It's like the perfect nude color. I hate when that happens. Oh my gosh. When you're like sharpening and then like the tip comes out in the sharpener and then you have to like struggle. <laughs> but luckily I got this little sharpener from Sephora. Aura. It comes with like a little tool in it. Okay, if I can get the tool out. Ugh. I think I broke the tool. Oh, because I was supposed to slide it. <laughs> Ariana. Ariana, come on. Okay, let's hope that it's not broken forever. Yeah, see like there's even like a little perforated edge where you're supposed to slide it, but sometimes my brain just like doesn't brain sometimes. You know what, it's fried. I've been studying. We're just gonna blame it on that. Yeah. This is good enough, right? Like it's not perfect, but it'll work. <laughs> I like to moisturize my lips like before I put on lip liner because lip liner is super duper drying. Anyway, this is this cute little beeswax brand from Portland. And like literally the only ingredients are beeswax, coconut oil, olive oil, and yuzu. I'm obsessed with yuzu. <sighs> If you don't know, you need to know. It's like if lemon and orange had a baby, but like in the best way. I don't know. You just you have to you have to find out. Just just find out. Anyway, let's line my lips. You know. Oh, let's get this out of the way. It's not clean beauty. Okay, cool. <laughs> not in the frame. <laughs> okay. I don't know when I became a lip liner girly, but ever since I did, there has been like no looking back because it's just amazing. Like it lasts all freaking day, no budging. And if you find like a good nude color, it literally just looks like your lips, but better. Like I, don't, like I don't know how to describe it, but I'm obsessed. And yeah, this is gonna be my look for today in terms of like face beat. And let me do my hair. I got my hair cut recently. So every time I get my hair cut, I get it straightened. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I don't have straight hair often. I literally used to straighten my hair every single day as a child, as an adolescent and boy <laughs> was that a mistake if i can go back into my camera roll and find a picture of like my dry frizzy fucked up hair i will put it right here so you guys can see for yourselves and yeah i feel like we all go through that phase in our life where we just don't know what we're doing makeup or hair wise and we just we just we just do things you know you gotta live you gotta learn you gotta move on and yeah that's what I did. Moral of the story, I don't straighten my hair anymore because I've just like embraced my natural curls, you know? Like I want my hair to be healthy above all else. And so that's what I've just been focusing on the last few years is just like taking care of my hair and like making sure it's healthy and like not breaking off and yeah. The straight moment is a little bit of a rare occurrence for me. Maintaining it has been a little bit hard because like I said, when I was younger, I would literally straight my hair every single day. Even if it was already straight, like I would just re-straighten it because I'm a dork. Like I don't, like, I don't know who told me that was okay, but whatever. But yeah, now to just like maintain the straightness is like I'll curl it and then at night I put it in like twisty buns to like maintain the twist. And if it just like looks a little wavy and like disheveled, it's fine. It's 
all right. And then if I want to touch up the roots or I'll just like blow dry out the roots right here. I don't know if I'm going to do that though today because I did that yesterday and I just really want to be like kind to my hair. Also, I think I might work out later. So I don't want to blow dry my roots just to get them like fucked up again. So we're just going to hide them. We're just going to go like this. I'm just gonna not look at my roots. <laughs> don't look at them, okay? Please don't look at them. I think that concludes my get ready with me. Thanks for hanging out. If you made it this far, you a real one. Like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know how, but um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm gonna go study and hopefully um, not have a full blown mental breakdown because I have crazy tests next week. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.